Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. Y equals square root of 16 divided by Y. Now, before you solve this problem, you listen to the instruction. The question says we should get the four solutions, right? Now, if you look at this um, 16, it is a perfect square. And you can easily find the square root of 16. But if you do that, you will not be able to get the four solutions. Now, what should we do? Take this to the other side. So if we do that, we're going to have y squared. I mean, we cross multiply. y times y is y squared. Then we have square root of 16. And I still don't want to get the square root of 16. Now, let me remove this square root from here. So to remove the square root from there, I'll have square root of 16 squared. Okay, so that means that I will also square what I have on the left. So that if I do that, I'll have y to the power of 4 to be equal to this. We'll now go with this. We have 16. Now, we are applying this method because we are to get the four solutions. Okay, now let's express this to the power of 4. So we're having y to the power of 4 equals 2 to the power of 4 because that will still give 16. Okay, now to continue with this, we can bring this to the left. So if we do that, we're going to have y to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 equals 0. Now here's what I want to do again. y squared squared, right? Minus here we have 2 squared squared. We have not changed anything because we are to multiply the powers. Now this is giving us 0. From here, I can decide to apply difference of two squares because I have y squared to the power of 2 minus 2 squared to the power of 2. As a matter of fact, if I want, I can work on this. So I have y squared to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 equals 0. Now, bring in your difference of two squares. So we're going to have y squared minus 4 in one bracket then in the other bracket we will have um in the other bracket we're going to have um y squared plus four we we'll close this and equate to zero okay so i want to believe that everyone is following okay and if you're following and you have not subscribed subscribe so you can get more of this now we multiply this and this to get zero, right? So it is right to say that either of them must be zero. So we can say that y squared minus 4 is zero or y squared plus 4 is zero. Remember what the question says? Get the four solutions. Now y squared from here is 0 plus 4. If this goes there, it becomes positive. Or y squared is 0 minus 4. This becomes negative on the other side. So our y squared now will be 0 plus 4, that is 4. Or y squared is equal to 4. I mean negative 4 on that side. Now, from here, to eliminate this y, um, the square from here, we are going to square both sides, isn't it? Okay, we'll square both sides. Or we take the square root of both sides. Okay, this is what I mean. Square root of y squared is equal to... Now, to take the square root of the right, we'll have positive or negative, then square root of 4. The same thing will go there. So we have or we have um, square root of y squared is equal to positive or negative.
square root of negative 4. Let's keep it going. Okay, so from here now, this is going with this one. So we we'll now have y alone to be equal to plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Or on this side, this will go with this. So we have y to be equal to plus or minus square root of negative 4. But we cannot use calculator to get square root of negative 4. So what I always do is to pick out the negative first. So I remember that if you have this given example, right? If you have um, anything like square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 3, you can always multiply the contents so you get square root of 6. So if I pick out the negative from here, I can always multiply it, right? So this is just to explain. Now let's go back to the work. So from here, we already have our y to be plus or minus 2. Or on this side, y will now be plus or minus. I will have square root of 4. Square root of 4. Then multiply by square root of Remember, the target is to bring out the negative. So I'll have negative 1 here. Now, y is still plus or minus 2. Or on this side, y will be equal to plus or minus. Square root of 4 is 2. Or, okay, 2, right? Then we are multiplying. Okay, let me turn this to multiplication sign. Then we multiply the 2 by square root of negative 1. Square root of negative 1 is imaginary. So write i. This means that y is plus or minus 2. Or y is equal to plus or minus 2i. But do not forget what the question says. Get the four solutions. And from here, this is a 2 in 1 solution. And another two in one solution. Let me get y1 from here, that is positive 2. Then y2 from here again, negative 2 this time. Then y3 from here, positive um, 2i. Then y4, y4 is from here as well. So this will give us negative 2i. So this are the four solutions to the equation. Now, if you follow any shortcut, you will not be able to get the four solutions. You will rather get these two solutions. Thank you for watching. If you love this, subscribe to my ch um, channel and um, I would appreciate that.